Before I show you what I found in the Arctic, I want to explain to you why I went there. I was a student here at Jordan College. Some of you taught me I was young. I was rebellious. And I longed with all my heart to find the answers to those questions that have baffled experimental theologians for centuries. And I still do. Let's start with demons. Each of us has one. We couldn't imagine a world without them. But what do we really know about our demon? What do they know about us? Isn't it time that we knew? Let's say why they reflect our natures in the way they do. Why is Stelmaria a snow leopard while the master's demon is a raven? Why are they fixed in one particular shape? Why can't they change? Yet a child's demon can change whenever it wants to. Why is that? Why can't we touch each other's demons? Why, if some lunatic were to pull Stelmaria and me apart, would both she and I suffer such agony? And why, if if we were separated, would we both die? I've done years of research and experiment on this very question, and it seems to me now that the answer lies in that mysterious substance, or power, or essence that all of us know about and that none of us truly understands. I mean, of course, that elementary particle that we call dust. This, gentlemen, is why I went to the Arctic. Here, for the first time in human history, we can see it. Here at last, we have a clue as to the nature of dust. And if dust can travel from world to world, then so can light. If light can travel, then so can we. The doors are open to us. The chains have been broken. We can question everything we've been taught. We can challenge every dreary, grey belief that we've had dinned into our skulls. Our reach is infinite, and I shall prove it.